hello guys you're welcome back to the channel so in today's tutorial i'm going to be showing you how i cut and sew this beautiful gown you're watching on the screen right now i'll be showing you in details of how i cut and sew it from beginning to the end so here is the fabric we're going to be using this is a sample net and this is terry brush that we are going to be putting one after the other so i'll be showing you in details of how i cut and sew it in this particular tutorial so if you are interested in this kind of tutorial kindly stay back and watch this tutorial from beginning to the end thanks for watching the channel so for this tutorial i'll be using just two yards of this fabric i'll be using just two yards of this fabric so let me arrange the fabric so what i did was that i cut the two yards into two separate that means one yard this is one yard that i'm trying to like arrange very well right here this is one yard so i'll be using one yard for the front and the other one yard for the back as well so the first thing i'm going to do is to measure out the length measurements i'm going to measure out the length measurement of this gown initially i'll be using the full length so everything we have here is 58 minus the etrg so it's 58 so i'll be using everything for the length measurement i will not be cutting anything out because the person full length measurement is 57.5 and you know i'm still going to like join it at the shoulder so the length of the fabric is okay for the person length measurement and on food what i have here on food i have 18 36 is one yard divided by two so i have 18 right here on fold so the next thing i'm going to do now just want to take out the measurements which i have here so like i said i have 18 okay i have 17.5 it's now up to 18. so i'll be using everything for the body so now the first thing you're going to do after you are done folding your fabric is to come down. This place that I'm measuring right now is from down. This is from the leg. So I come up with 25 inches from the down. I come up with 25 inches. Depending on how tall the person is, that's how much you're going to come down. Like, like say this person. So after coming down, I measure out 11 from here. I measure out 11 so I'm going to measure that 11 all through till down sorry the chalk is not showing very well so I'll measure the 11 so that is um, what well, that is what I'm going to be using for the down body so I'll be using 11 so I just want to connect the lines that I just make so this is the 11 that i measure so from the down part i measure 25 then after i measure the 25 i measure out 11. then now to the sleeve for the sleeve i'll be using for the sleeve band i'll be using nine inches this is it right here nine inches So from the, you know, when we measure that time, we measure in, in 25, from the 25, and now later come up with 5 inches. I will show you, um, so from the 5 inches, that is where I do my shaping. So I just make a shape at that part, at that part, let me show you. Let me cut it out. This is that place that I'm cutting right now. You know, we measure 25, we say we are coming up with 25. It's from that 25 that you are going to do your shaping. A little bit can you see that then this place must give you a cough shape so that is the body that is the body Then I'll come here. We said, how much are we using for this place? We are using nine, right? So this is it. 
so the one i cut away from here i'm going to like remove the nine inches then i'm going to like place it right here so i'm going to sew it right here i'm going to so that is going to represent the hand so by the time i join this i'll just sew it straight down it's a very simple gown and very easy to make it's something you can cut and sew within one hour let's say one hour cutting and sewing at least then the next thing i'm going to do now is to come to the neckline for the neckline i'll be using four by two i'll be using four by two for the back neckline then for the front neckline i'll be using four I'll be using four four by two for the back neckline, four by four for the front neckline, four for the width and four for the length of the neckline. That is for the back and front neckline. Depending on how you want it, you can decide to make it a little bit lower, you can decide to make it a little bit higher so you understand. So by the time you want to cut the front, make sure that you remove the back neckline from it and cut it out as shown so we are almost done with cutting so the next thing we are going to do now is to move to the sewing after we are done cutting so this is what we have after cutting everything this is it So the first thing we are going to do is to join the two shoulders together. We are going to join the two shoulders together. That's the first thing to do on this. This is a very simple style, like I said earlier. It's something you can make cutting and sewing within 30 minutes, 45 minutes. At least, let's say one hour, you are done with it. So the first thing we need to do is to join the shoulder. After joining the shoulder, then we are going to use our bias to turn the neckline. You are going to cut it at this part, then just stitch this together and now do your nice stitching here. So the next thing we are going to do is to turn it. For the turning, I will just be using the machine to stitch the neckline. I will not be doing any at this part. I will use my machine to stitch it together. So this is it. We are almost done with the neckline. You're almost done so we are done with that so that is that about the neckline so after you're done with your neckline the next thing you're going to do is to you know i i later cut small small one i later cut another joining that i'll be join that i'm going to join at the sleeve part so it's that one that i'm going to join right now i'm going to join that right now But you, you can decide not to join anything. You understand? But I just want the sleeve to be a little bit long. That's why I decided to join extra on the sleeve side. And this is it. This is it. So we are going to put it right now. So I'm going to mush the middle part. I'm going to mush the middle part. Then I'm going to stitch it. Place the middle part at this edge and stitch it together. And this is it. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to take out the sleeve band measurements i'll be using seven for the sleeve band measurements i'll be using seven inches so after you are done doing that the next thing we're going to do is to start sewing it straight down you're going to start sewing it straight down and when you are sewing this just follow the shape that we did earlier 
just sew it with half of an inch or one inch at most depending on how much inches you add to the body so just follow the shape that we cut out earlier so after stitching it straight down you are going to repeat the same thing for the second side as well and after i'm done with both sides this is what i have this is it so the next thing i'm going to do now is to start fixing the terry bush on it i'll start putting it one after the other i'm going to be using my hand needle to tack it on the main body i'll be using my needle and after i'm done with that this is what i got this is it very very easy to make thanks so much for watching the channel if you are yet to subscribe to the channel kindly do so subscribe subscription is free thank you and see you guys in my next tutorial bye